There's a huge difference between the type of corset that a regular person was wearing and the type of corset that a rich person was wearing. Corsets are pretty much constantly vilified in the media. If a movie comes out where an actress had to wear a corset, there's pretty much guaranteed to be at least one news article about how much she hated it. <laughs> I am in no way trying to discredit their experiences at all. But I do think that those kind of news articles really color how people would view historical corsets. And it's really just not consistent with what corsets were actually like in the past. Something like this would have been way more common. And honestly, it's pretty comfortable. On the other hand, those super dramatic corsets that people tend to picture when they picture a corset definitely did exist. But the working class corset didn't really alter my figure all that much. This one, on the other hand, is very much designed to give you the classic Edwardian figure. And do I find this corset comfortable? No. Kind of like asking someone if their stiletto heels are comfortable, they're not really meant to be comfortable. I think the truth is somewhere in the middle. The average corset was not a torture device. I wouldn't even say the average corset was uncomfortable, but not every corset was the average corset. 